All right. So I think a move that, uh, honestly, I think this is a really massive move that maybe isn't going to get talked about the way it should. Uh, but Leonard Floyd has been one of the real underrated players in the NFL, in my opinion, uh, for quite some time now. So the fact that he is going to Buffalo, I think is a huge deal for the Bills. Leonard Floyd's someone who I think had a key impact in the Rams winning the Super Bowl. Everyone talks about Aaron Donald and Von Miller, and rightfully so. Those guys were, you know, they're awesome. They're awesome players, and they had huge impacts in them winning the Super Bowl and are the biggest names for a very valid reason. But Leonard Floyd did a lot of nice things in that Super Bowl run, and I've always kind of felt like is the guy who sort of does the dirty work and does the uh, the little things that help uh, set things up. He's someone who really can you know do anything you need him to do out of the edge rush position, uh, and because of that, I think that he's someone who really is a uh, you know a, a big signing for Buffalo. He's also someone who has won a championship, so I've always felt like there is some value in getting someone who's won a championship before. Uh, I know people kind of like to make a joke about that and say, who cares? You're just getting the player. But here's my thought process. So let's say that you have a bad loss. Let's say that you're, I don't know, it's week 15. You're playing the Chiefs. I don't know. They don't know who to play them, but just hypothetical. You're playing the Chiefs. Uh, you're competing for the one seed and you lose that uh, game. If Josh Allen sits here and says, hey guys, it's okay. You know, uh, you know, teams have won not being the one seed before. It's no big deal. It's just, you know, we'll get them in the playoffs. That's when it matters. That would help, and that would mean something, but it does mean something a little bit more if it's a player who's won a Super Bowl before, and you know they know what they're talking about. I think there's just there's a little bit added benefit there. Obviously, you're not going to pay a guy just because they've won a Super Bowl, uh, but there's a little bit of added value there. I think that the real thing that Floyd does well is, I mean, A, production. He does produce. He has had, uh, you know, nine sacks, uh, e at least nine sacks each of the last three years. Every year since he came over to the Rams, when they gave him that monster contract, they gave him a ton of money, right? Uh, and I'm wondering how much the Buffalo has given him. We haven't yet seen that, but the Rams paid Leonard Floyd a good chunk of money, but he was you know, he he met expectations. They did eventually cut him just because they needed the cap space, but he didn't meet the expectations for them. So, for me personally, I kind of like uh, I, I like this move a lot because I think that he is someone who, again, high motor player, gets production. It's really hard to uh, find too many bad things to say about Floyd. He is someone who really, one of the things I noticed watching the Super Bowl is, listen, it's the Super Bowl right? It, it's something that everyone wants. You expect everyone to be going their absolute hardest every snap. And still, his sort of energy, I thought, popped on film. I thought that you could tell how much of a high motor player he was watching him play. Now, there's several things to point out. One, if Buffalo has the money, do they need to spend it on edge help? Is that where to spend it? And in a vacuum, I would say no. I think in a vacuum, uh, probably getting you know just another defensive back in the room or another wide receiver in the room probably would make more sense than adding an edge rusher. Again, we don't know what Floyd is getting paid here, so we don't know uh, you know exactly uh, how valuable uh, you know how good or bad of a contract this is. But in a vacuum, could could they have maybe spent that money on somewhere that could have helped them more in a different position? potentially, but that's where things get weird, right? Because you don't know if there is a Leonard Floyd caliber player at a different position who is available. Like at the end of the day, yes, it's great in Madden when you can just go up and pick, you know, uh, just sign the best wide receiver and you're good. But in the actual NFL, people don't hit the free, free market as frequently. And so sometimes you have to kind of uh, do what you can in this scenario, which is what Buffalo is doing. Because again, they have Von Miller, so Von Miller and Leonard Floyd reuniting again since they won a Super Bowl together uh, in, you know, with the Rams, obviously, when Miller was there for that second half of that uh, season. Um, you know, you have, I thought, uh, Gregory Rousseau. He's always been someone who I think, uh, another guy who kind of does the little things and is a very effective player. Uh, you have Boogie Basham and maybe AJ Espinessa. Is, well, could this be the year he breaks out? Who knows? But, you know, you have got Shaq Lawson, another guy. You have plenty of guys in the edge rusher room. This is another added player who should be effective for them. And again, we saw with the Rams, he is someone who can be an effective player player and I think this is part of the Buffalo Bills strategy is listen 
I thought at times the Bills' defense was very good last year. A lot of people kind of equated it taking a bit of a step back once Von Miller got injured, and I think that hurt. I also think that uh, once Travis White came back, uh, he just he they, they, they felt like they put him in too big of a role that he then he was ready for right when it happened. And so I think that if White can kind of have a full uh, you know training camp to kind of get back to where he was, that would be awesome. And then if Von Miller can come back, this is a defense that could be really really good and we already know the offense is going to be great it's going to be great as long as Josh Allen stays healthy it's going to be at least very good uh even if other things go terribly wrong so because of that this is definitely I mean this is why people talk about the Bills consistently as being a championship contender and it's why the Bills still are a championship contender is because they have a very good roster now again an element of this is going to come down to the the contract. Uh, how good of a deal is this? Is going to be uh, you know a very fascinating thing as well because just because you're a championship contender doesn't mean you can just make moves willy nilly to try to get yourself a little bit better to win a championship. You do have to at a certain point make sure you're making those smart moves. And again, I think in a vacuum, adding Leonard Floyd is a good decision. The question is. I think the question is less so about, is this a good decision, and more so about, uh, could they have made a better decision, potentially? Uh, I think that it's definitely going to help the team to get Leonard Floyd, but I don't, I don't really know who they could have potentially added. Now, I guess you could say, well, if they had this money, could they have gone out and added somebody else? Like, could they have gotten, like, I don't know, I guess, like, Jacoby Myers or Juju Smith-Schuster could have been options. Um, I don't know how much they're moving the needle. I think some. I think to some degree they are. But, I mean, like, really, you know, I, I was looking at the PFF uh, wide receiver uh, free agents that are still available. The top, uh, currently the top two guys on the list that are still available are Jarvis Landry and Julio Jones. So, like, okay, you could take a flyer on those guys if you wanted to. I actually wouldn't even hate that, uh, taking a flyer on either one of those guys. But at the end of the day, like, you're not getting someone of Leonard Floyd's caliber at this point. There's just, that's not on the table. I guess DeAndre Hopkins is the other one. He's not on the PFF page. I sort of forgot about him. He's the guy maybe you could look at and say, would you rather had Hopkins? Uh, and, uh, yeah. I would have, I would have, but again, we don't know how much Hopkins is getting, is asking for, we don't know how much uh, Floyd has gotten paid yet, so definitely, uh, it's something where I would have rather had Hopkins, but again, I think this is a good move by Buffalo, long story short, I do think this is something that should help out them and help out their roster, and at the end of the day, uh, if they want to be a championship contender, sometimes you gotta take some chances as well, take chances on a, you know, getting a guy who's over 30, uh, you know, paying him some money to get him in, you know, on the team, sometimes you gotta do stuff like that, and for Floyd, he is someone who I think will, no matter what the makeup of this defensive line ends up being next year, he's gonna find a way to get playing time and to contribute, because we've seen him do so many different things for the Rams, so I think he's gonna be good, I think he'll be a good signing. So uh, he'll be a good player for them. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.